Hey everyone, Chip GT here. And first, I just wanted to say I'm, I'm still recovering. I'm not quite up to making a full blown video for the final phase four project on the cabinet. But um, while I've been resting and recovering from my surgery, I went ahead and saw that we have a winner in our voting polls and we are the, first, the next project we're gonna work on together is going to be finishing this back box. So with that, I went ahead and I ordered some parts and today I got the parts in. So this video, I'm gonna cover some of the parts that I ordered and we're gonna talk about the, the back box itself and what kind of upgrades I wanna do. I don't expect it, many of you to follow what I'm doing because this is a little bit more on the pricey side, but I'm going to give you some other options that you can do for your own back box to make it look nice and have that professional feel. For me, I just went to a pinball convention a week ago and I wanted to uh, have a little more professional look on my back box because it will be something that is like the centerpiece on the back frame. For me, I just wanted to have a more professional look and um, it's going to be, it's going to look like a stern back box when it's all done and set and over with. So without any further delay, let's coin in and push that start button. While I was at the Louisville Arcade Expo, I really began to study some of the back boxes from the various companies that were there representing their cabinets. And I quickly got an idea of what I wanted for a professional design, especially when loading up some of Stern's tables. I figured, you know, if I'm gonna do this, it needs to look like a Stern. So that kind of led me to coming up with the solution and looking online for Stern parts rather than going with like a spooky back box or you know some of the other back boxes that are out there. I wanted it to be instantly recognizable. So my initial research began with finding a user manual for a modern Stern cabinet and I found this Godzilla user manual online and uh, Stern does a really good job of you know breaking down each individual component and giving you some dimensions of what the cabinet actually looks like and I was more interested in the back box and I found that he actually breaks down all the parts that are in the back box and how the back box is broken down here. And really all I was really interested in purchasing was just this bottom section here. And thankfully all the parts are listed right here by part number and everything, how it's assembled is right here. And I was like, you know, this is this is a really good resource for finding some of these parts and, you know, finding some competitive prices and everything. And, you know, once again, I found myself over on Pinball Life and, you know, I just started my search with uh, with back box at the top. But you can put in the part numbers or you could put in, you know, uh, just about anything really uh, that has to do with a back box and it instantly starts bringing up some of the parts that you would need to purchase like here's you know this is for a demolition man you don't have to get that one but you know all the parts are readily available and I also noticed that um, with these modern styles they're kind of square boxes now they're, they don't have that you know piece that kind of comes out at an angle anymore for the artwork so I was like okay well you know, they probably did that because we're using flat screen monitors. I bet you I could slim down my back box and make it fit a little bit better and, and mirror what a Stern looks like. So um, that's that's kind of where I began doing my research and finding, you know, all the different components that you would need. There's like some bumpers here. I was like, you know, that would be a nicety, but do I really want to spend six dollars on a bumper, like a little rubber bumper for when it's in the closed position? Um, maybe in the future when we go to finish it up I'll do something like that but I was more interested in in just the individual parts themselves now when it comes to this display and speaker panel you don't have to go with this you know aluminum frame or steel frame you don't have to buy this this is rather pricey this is the more expensive component on here um, here's one from Virtua pen you, it fits a 15.6 inch monitor 
Uh, I think the speakers holes are not for a five inch. I think they're for a four inch speakers, but it comes with everything. It's CNC milled. It's, it's this really nice piece of MDF and uh, you can make it work. You can even get the hinges. And the nice thing is the price for this thing is $39. So you don't have to go the route that I did. You can go with a much cheaper route if you want. Here's some of the other components that I got. Um, this is a spooky screen. This is not the stern screen. And the reason for, for that, well, I'll go into that in just a minute, but let's, I'm just gonna tell you right now, the price of a spooky full like electronics bracket and everything assembly is way cheaper than having to purchase a stern, a stern screen. Okay, so I've already opened this box and I've already checked to make sure I have everything. So this is not really an unboxing, but it's kind of an unboxing. The, the way they packed this was really, really nice. Um, I got everything from Pinball Life in this box for the back box. So let's go ahead and we'll get down to it. All right, so this is a plastic screen protector for the front side of the um, monitor and speaker display. That's a key piece to this. And I went ahead and I got some foam pads. This is like a cover for the speakers uh, so that you don't see the speakers. And we're gonna have a lighting array around the frame of this. We're gonna 3D print a frame and it'll look really nice. Okay, next. These are the they're metal frames for the stern um, speaker mounts on the display stand. And these are designed for a five and a quarter inch speakers, which are right here. So the speakers will mount to these, these will mount to the display, and then they will mount into the frame and hold everything together. So these are kind of key parts to this whole design and setup. Put these down over here. Here are the, oops, sorry. Here are the speakers. We got two in this box. These are the five and a quarter inch speakers that we'll use. And we'll have to buy, in the future, we're gonna have to buy a, um, uh, an audio amp for this and figure out where we're gonna mount that. All right, moving on. We have some hardware that comes with some of the other parts. Oh, um, these are spacers and hinges. So the idea with a stern cabinet is the front speaker and monitor panel folds down and forward so you can access it. And I kind of like that idea because getting to the back side of the cabinet is kind of a pain in the butt. So if I have a lock that I can just open and pull down, I can access everything. Maybe we can put a you know, a speaker control knob behind the panel on like the left side or on the right side. And that's much easier to get to and access. That's why I liked the idea of having a fold down front piece like on modern stern machines. So these are the hinges that allow it to fold down. And then I ordered some spacers just to see, um, you know, how that would work. I could have 3D printed these. Now that I see them in hand, I thought that they were um, uh, brass, but they're, they're plastic, so. I recommend maybe 3D printing these if you have a 3D printer. Save yourself a little bit of money. All right, then we have some hinges and I got these as like bare, like aluminum. Um, and the reason for that is I wasn't sure what color to go with for the, um, for these because we don't have the back box artwork yet. So these are just the bare aluminum frame and they have been blasted down and they are ready for paint. So as soon as we get the artwork, I will take these off and this, this will aid us in getting the back box to come down and then go back up in a nice, neat, orderly way for transportation to and from pinball conventions. So this is an essential piece to having this machine function like a real and operate like a real cabinet and these weren't they weren't too expensive all right now we're getting into the meat and the potatoes so I had a monitor that works just fine 
but I wanted it to, I wanted a new monitor that made it look and feel like a real Stern back box. And what's funny is I didn't get a Stern monitor. I got a spooky monitor. <laughs> so um, there is a little bit of performance difference between a Stern and a spooky. But the difference with this is the spooky monitor comes with the interface board and button control panel and all you have to do is get a power brick and an HDMI and this monitor will work. It's super thin and it will fit in a stern cabinet but we're gonna have to lop down these edges a little bit so I'm gonna I'm gonna like deframe this this frame take the monitor out of the frame deframe it and we're gonna lop down these edges so that they fit inside of the the display frame. All right, so a little bit of work to do with this, and that'll be fun. So we'll move this over here. All right, now we're getting down to the final few components. This is what the, um, the back glass will sit in, into. This is like a little tray here. And this is a crossbar that when the, um, when the display mount is closed, it locks into this. So there's a little locking feature here and it'll close and lock into that in a locked position. And then when I want to unlock the unlock and it just opens and folds down shut. So this is a key component to making all that work. And then the back glass sits, there's like a little tray with a lip here. And the back glass will sit in here. So I figured we can't 3D print this. We need, and having wood really won't work. Let's just go ahead and buy this. And this is powder coated black, which is it's really nice. I like it. And then with that, I decided to go ahead and fork out the five bucks. <laughs> this is for the back glass so that we don't hear glass rattling around and it's it's like an easy lift system. So this will sit right here and then when we want to take the back glass off you just lift it by this little lift and it goes in there. It creates a plastic interface between the glass and the metal and I think this will work out really nice for our, our back glass and protect our artwork on the back glass. And then finally, the real star of the episode, here is the Modern Stern back, back box display monitor stand and speaker grill. So everything for the, um, the, real, the full screen DMD will be in this. This will hinge open from the front and make it easy to access all the components. We're gonna light up this grill. It'll look really nice and have this really nice professional look when it's all said and done and over with. So during this next series, we're gonna be covering everything for the back box and I plan to have you guys like through everything. We're gonna buy new wood. We're gonna rip it down and get it prepped and cut. You know, a, we're gonna have a data stack. We're gonna cut everything. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. But unfortunately with me recovering from my surgery, I can't operate any heavy machine, machinery for the next two weeks. So we won't start there. We're gonna start with 3D modeling and doing everything and hopefully by next week I will have a 3D model for you guys to see completely done and designed. I'm going to 3D print a couple of components to make this back box look nice and finish and you know hold everything together because we're using spooky parts and stern parts so there is a interface that we're going to have to make in order to get those things to combine together. After we complete the back box series uh, around May time frame we will go down a, another series called Finishing Touches, which is where we're gonna put the finishing touches on the cabinet. We're going to um, put the finishing touches on the back box and get it prepped for the artwork. For my birthday, this May is my birth month, but um, from my birthday, I'm asking for the artwork. And I've reached out during my, my bedtime for my surgery. I reached out to a bunch of different artists and I found one that looks amazing. It's got this beautiful compilation of a whole bunch of Bali Williams tables. It's all hand drawn. It looks amazing. I can't wait to share that with you, but that'll be in the future. Um, 
And then after that, I realized that I know that you guys picked the uh, the computer as being the next part after the back box, but I realized while in bed searching online, the best time to buy a computer is during back to school sales. So. Uh, spring we're going to be doing the back box, summer we're going to do finishing touches, at the end of summer we're going to do the PC, and then in the uh, September to October time frame it will be the final components that with Dofflinks. All right, I've already got a few Dofflinks components that I got for really cheap at a pinball convention and I'm going to share those with you. I've, I've already almost set my cabinet on fire because the solenoid burned out and I'm going to share all that information with you uh, very soon. Um, I can't wait to get started on this next series but unfortunately I have to let my body heal and so the next few videos are just going to be more planning for this next phase that we're going into with my cabinet. So. Stay tuned and, you know, always remember to hit your magnet save and I'll see you at the next video. Thanks for watching.